When you're choosing a domain, it's really about choosing your brand. And you really want to think about what's your brand going to look like in five to 10 years, maybe even more. Are you going to be able to expand? Is it going to be cohesive against all these other platforms? So say you wanted to write about poodles. If you put poodle in your domain, that's going to pigeonhole you into only poodles. And that's okay, but you just really have to think about that. What if in the future you wanna talk about other toy breeds? So you wanna start writing about pugs and shih tzus and chihuahuas and all those other cute dogs. If you were to name your website toybreedplanet.com, that leaves a lot for you to write about, but it's not just dogs. It's not just dogplanet.com, which I'm sure is probably not available, but that's gonna be way too competitive. But if you just narrow it down to toy breeds and specific kinds of toy breeds, you're going to be okay. So you kind of have to have that middle ground of not being way too broad, but also not being way too niche. Now, when you pick your name, you wanna make sure it's creative, memorable, but also simple, easy to read, and easy to say aloud. Make sure you actually say your domain name aloud and maybe have some other people read it as well because if it doesn't roll off the tongue, then it's gonna be hard to say, it's gonna be hard to remember, and people are probably not gonna be as apt to search it. You also wanna make sure you don't have any characters or numbers or hyphens or anything like that, if possible, if that's not part of your brand. Try and think of some of the domains that are memorable to you that you can think of off the top of your head and ask yourself why. To see if the domain that you like is available, click the link we have below and that will take you to bluehost.com. That is where we will search whatever your desired domain is. So let's check out smalldogbreed.com and click search. So smalldogbreed.com is not available, but smalldogbreed.net or org is, and all of these other ones, but I don't want that. I want a .com, so I'm going to keep searching. Smalldogplanet.com. Still, it's not available, so I'm gonna keep moving on. Let's try something else. How about toybreedplanet.com? And it looks like Toy Breed Planet is our winner. I feel like that's a really great domain name myself. So if you're in the dog space, hey, there's an idea for you. So once it is available, you can move on to some of the next steps as long as it doesn't have any trademark issues, it's not easily confused with other businesses, and of course the right domain is available here. If you can't think of something, try our domain name modifier ideas article below. And once you have found an available name, you're ready to go. You'll get your domain for free in the next steps when you buy your hosting account. But again, just make sure that there's no trademark issues. The domain is available and it's not easily confused with other businesses. Before you select your domain name, you wanna make sure it doesn't violate anyone's trademark. A trademark protects the words or symbols associated with a business that represent a business. So the public can easily recognize those symbols and words to be associated with that business. So if you were going to go shoe shopping at the store and you saw a pair of shoes that had the swoosh symbol, you would assume that those shoes are Nike. Bloggers often have problems with trademarks. So say you wanted to make a blog about Peloton bicycles, of course the popular bikes that you can ride and you have the screen attached to it and they have all of the different workouts. Now say you made your blog name pelotonrider.com. Well, could Peloton sue you for infringement? Probably because you are using that blog called pelotonrider.com and you are talking about indoor bicycles. That could easily confuse a reader to think that that website was actually Peloton. 
To make sure that you don't get into any trademark issues, the first step is to go to USPTO.gov and perform a TESS trademark search. From the homepage, go to trademarks and then go to searching trademarks. Go to search our trademark database, TESS, and do the basic word mark search. Then type in whatever word you're interested in. And click submit query. It looks like no TESS records were found to match the criteria of your query. So no results are a good thing, but if you do see results, you're going to want to take a look at the different industries that have those names and determine if a potential customer is going to be confused about the source of the information. A clear TESS trademark search doesn't mean you can use that name yet. You still need to see if there are any other businesses that are named something confusingly similar. This is especially important for choosing a domain name. Now, if you do find another business that has a name that's very close to the one you want, it's probably best to just move on and find another one. It might work if you're in completely different areas of the world and no one's going to be confused about it, or if it's completely different industries, but even then, you probably don't want to take any chances. There's lots of name ideas out there for you.